You know, if you want to measure this spectrum of sodium gas, not the yellow emission color that you get from passing electric current through that gas, but the actual color of the gas itself, there are no books that are going to tell you how to do it because sodium boils at almost a thousand degrees and even at room temperature, it's very reactive. So one of the things I found out early on is you can't use glass because at this temperature, sodium is just so reactive that it chemically reacts with the glass and the glass goes all brown, which is no good if you want to see the optical color. So high pressure sodium streetlights get around this problem by using alumina, aluminum oxide, which is not attacked by the sodium gas. So I got one of the sodium streetlights and took out the aluminum tube, cracked it open, and then cleaned it all out and put some fresh sodium in there and then pumped out all of the air and backfilled it with argon as an inert atmosphere and then cooked it. The results were rather surprising. Blue car. Oh, I see the gas. That's super. It's purple. Fuck me. I see purple gas. The purple... Oh, fantastic. I can see the purple. It's purple when it's hot. Well, that explains who's the man. Fuck me. Right, I'm going to get this zoomed up. Oh, there it is. There it is. You see the purple? Oh, that's fantastic. Record, record, record. There we go. There's the purple. And green. Oddly enough, I'd never done anything like this before, and the results, as you can tell, were kind of surprising. So why is it when sodium vapor is cooler that it looks green, and then it actually changes color to purple when it gets hot? A fascinating and simple question. Sadly, at this point, I'm just going to have to quote someone smarter and deader than myself, and say, we wouldn't call it research if we knew what we were doing. 